Hey everyone, it's Random Guy, and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to AFK Krill without using prayers, potions, or even auras. This is, at the time of making this video, the second most AFK moneymaker on my channel, and one of the most new player friendly. I would actually say that this is the most AFK Krill guide ever. With this method, you can stay here until you either run out of divine charges for your armor, or you run out of runes. All the other guides for this boss say that you need an aura to AFK here, but I'm pretty sure we can do it without it. Since we aren't going to be praying, we won't need an ectoplasmator in Demon Horn Necklace, and without an aura, that means you don't have to worry about aura cooldowns. Now, you can still use your auras to give you faster kills, but that's completely optional. You don't have to use them. For all of you out there pet hunting, this is definitely the guide for you. If you're here for GP though, this makes about 3 to 4 mil an hour and sometimes more. To get here, you will need to have completed the quest Troll Stronghold, Desert Treasure, and the City of Sentiston. Besides quests, Having the Totem of Intimidation is very nice, as it lets you skip getting kill count and get right into the boss. For the levels here, I'd recommend at least 90 Magic, Defense, and HP, preferably 99s if you have them, and at least 87 Invention. Alright, now onto the equipment. For my armor, I'm wearing full Ganodermic armor. It's really cheap armor and it's really nice. For my cape, I'm using the Igneous Magic Cape because I have it, but probably a lot of you won't, so the Defense Cape or regular Kiln Magic Cape will be just fine. For my amulet, I'm using an Arcane Blood Necklace. This is just a regular Blood Necklace, but it also gives a plus 44 bonus to magic. If you don't have one of these though, don't worry, a regular Blood Necklace will do. Now for my weapon, I'm using an Inquisitor Staff as it is best in slot here, but you could also use a Knock Staff, or even cheaper than that, a Camel Staff. I have not tried the Camel Staff here yet, but I would bet GP that it would work here. It is definitely good enough. Now, for my ring, I'm using a Luck of the Dwarves. This is a very nice ring to have as it ups the drop chance of armor. Not by much, but, I mean, take what you can get. But if you already have the Luck of the Dwarves Relic active in your archaeology slots, then just bring a DPS ring. Faster kills equals more money an hour. Now, in my room pouch, I have Death, Blood, and Soul Runes. And for my God Book, I just bring the Zami God Book because it makes it so nothing attacks you when you're teleporting in. And I'm just using it for the boost. I'm not even turning it on. But if you want to turn it on for faster kills, there you go. And an optional is the Advanced Gold Accumulator. The Advanced Gold Accumulator, what it does is it picks up GP for you while you're AFK. So you don't have to worry about missing out on the GP drops when you're AFK. Now at the same time, it does take a tiny cut of the GP so you don't get the full GP drop that you would have gotten if you weren't using it. So, if you're not too AFK, and you're always watching the screen anyways, don't bring it. All it will do is lower the amount of GP you get when you get GP stack drops. Alright, now for invention. Since I'm using the kind of bare minimum with the armor, I'm also using kind of the bare minimum with the invention perks. You can run whatever perks you want, but what I run with is Absorbative and Lucky. These reduce the damage you take. And on my Ganodermic Bottoms, I use Venom Blood and a DPS perk, like Crackling and Relentless. Now for my Staff, I'm using Precise and Ruthless in one gizmo, and Equilibrium in the other. The reason why I did not say numbers for any of these, like Absorbative 3, Lucky 5, Precise 6, yada yada yada, is because just get what you got. If you only have enough stuff for Precise 5 then go for it. If you only have enough for Absorbative 3, go for it. It's, it'll all work here. Now, one thing that I would definitely say is make sure that on your staff, you also have Ruthless. 
what Ruthless does is it ups your DPS for every monster you kill. And with your AoEs, you will be killing the minions, which will make you hit harder against the actual boss. It's just a really nice free damage bonus. Now for my inventory. Again, bare minimal. What I'm bringing is magic note paper. You don't need to bring as much as I am. An enhanced Excalibur for extra heals if you need it, but I've never had to use it once. And in my rune pouch, I'm using fire into earth runes. These plus the runes in your rune pouch in your equipment will give you the spells for both Animate Dead and Blood Barrage or Blood Blitz. If you're using an Inquisitor Staff, you only need to use Blood Blitz. And next up is my Spring Cleaner and a Gem Bag. And an optional thing is an XP Capacitor 5000. If you have these, I would definitely bring them. But probably not many of you that are looking at this guide would have them because they require a high invention level. But what these do is they take the augment XP that goes to your weapon and put some of it into this thing. And when it's full, it's something you can sell on the GE. And it's like a nice mil, couple mil more. So it adds like an extra like 250k to 500k XP to your AFK money making methods. It's really nice to have. Alright, now, last thing. These are the options that I have selected on my legendary pet for it to pick up for me. So I have runes and talismans for it to pick up the blood and death runes. And I have armor selected because, I mean, his armor drops, subjugation, that's what we're here for. And noted items because, you know, they don't fill up your inventory. Once you get one drop, that's one inventory space used for all the drops after that. And then miscellaneous. Alright, now it's time to get into the actual boss fight. So when you come in, I'll show you right here, but it is four spaces away from the wall on this tile. This tile will guarantee that you will attack Krill when he appears every time and not his minions. So you don't need to click on him to aggro to him instead of his minions to save time. It will just automatically do it. This is the place to stand. Another thing to know is that when you come in, you're not far away enough from your legendary familiar for him to follow you in here. So you need to right click on your familiar options and click call follower for him to actually come in here so we can pick stuff up for you. I forget this all the time and it has lost me a lot of money. So now on the bottom of my screen is the AFK ability bar that I use. Or just change it to how you like it. But the reason why I have chain or greater chain in the beginning of my bar for the basics is because of the ruthless perk like I said before. Of how killing the edge increases your DPS against the boss. So yeah, you just sit here in AFK. Your familiar will pick up everything for you and that's pretty much it. Just AFK forever. And under the loot tab that I have up in my top left corner, there will be the kill count box. And on the right side of that kill count box, there will be a little icon of a timer. What you do is you right click that timer and then extend time. What that's doing is when your bossing hour ends, doing that will renew your hour so you don't have to leave. You can just stay. And then bosses will start appearing again. It will cost you the cost of a instance though. So yeah, you can literally stay here until you either run out of GP for renewing sessions, runes for your rune pouches to cast spells, or divine charges for your armor. That's literally all you're using. Most of the time though, I just leave when I run out of inventory space because I get too many armor pieces. And there you go guys, that's it for this video. So, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it makes you some money. And good luck. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any more of my videos. And speaking about videos, maybe watch one of these ones next. Peace.